Welcome to the Long Box Paradox. I'm Dan, and today we're going to be going over some of the new releases this week, or ones I curated that I was interested in checking out. We're going to start out this week with Brian Michael Bendis, his second book in his uh, new line, Wonder Comics, and it's Naomi. Naomi is him and David Walker are the writers with Jamal Campbell, who his art throughout the book is fantastic. And it is about a girl living in a town. She's a little, her and her friends are all obsessed with Superman. It starts out with Superman fighting Mongol through the streets. Um, as the book goes on, we kind of, she thinks something's off. She's seeing a psychiatrist. Um, they bring up the Superman complex and she's obsessed. Things keep being a little bit off though. And then she talks to a mechanic in town and then realizes when she was, the last time Superman was there, 17 years ago and is when she was adopted um the psychiatrist talks with her about how superman's adopted and you know brings up how you know being adopted makes you special um so far i've liked the book it, it flowed pretty well um my one thing with this book is the problem of i hope that people after issue one don't jump off it seems to be with certain books everybody clamors for it clamors for it and they either stop buying the issues right at the beginning or they go into the trade waiting this is one of those books that could easily people might go oh this is good but i'm going to trade wait and the way it's been with dc this book could get canceled really fast so if you like it or even if you're interested in it go to your lcs order it I, there's so many ways to get the books, whether it's on digital, uh, go to my comic shop, Midtown, put the effort in, don't let it go away, especially if this is a book that you've been clamoring for. It's in all ages. It has a person of color as the main star of it. Uh, great creative team. Really put the effort into at least reading it, recommend it to friends. Uh, it, basically, you control the destiny of this book. Your wallet has the power to kill or keep this book going. Of course, Bendis is writing it, so it will carry some weight with it. But again, it, it could easily just go away. So next, Marvel put out Crypt of Shadows. Don't really get any horror books lately, especially Marvel... Uh, I think Zombies might be one of the last ones I remember they put out. But during the 70s, they, they had a great line of horror comics. So this week, we got Crypt of Shadows, which was a horror tale. Um, it had to do a lot with a gentleman who has a fear of dogs. And you start going into the tale of why he's afraid of dogs and some shady shit he did. It's worth a check out. It's a one shot. Uh, the covers were pretty awesome. Uh, it reminded me a lot of Xenoscope's Grimm's Fa the Grimm's Fairy Tales, Tales of Terror. Uh, it's this real self-contained story. Um, we don't get a lot of horror comics lately, so if you are into that genre, just give it a check. Um, and also I'll recommend, just as another aside, Archie has some of the great horror comics between uh, the... After Afterlife with Archie, which is the zombie zombie apocalypse in the Archie universe. Uh, we also have the Sabrina series, which is super dark. And just came out this week was the Blossom 666, because, you know, you need Cheryl and her brother to be Satanists, basically, witches. Um, it, it's worth a, worth a look. Uh, so from there, I'll stay with Marvel. And we have The New Guardians of the Galaxy by Donny Cates and Jeff Shaw. This is basically a who's who of the cosmic universe right now. Uh, Donny Cates is a hot, hot writer, so it, he's going to bring eyes to this book. Jeff Shaw's art, um, it was good. It's not really the style I like, but it worked for the book. And then the story telling flowed well. So him and... Him and Kate's have a good relationship there where everything kept moving. The new team um, is staying with the theme of B heroes being on this. 
Cosmic Ghost Rider, Phylavel, Moon Dragon, Groot, Beta Ray Bill, which, hey, Beta Ray Bill's in a book, so I'm down for checking it out. Uh, a lot of stuff happened in this book, and it moved pretty fast. So as far as first issues go, it was fine. Um, I'm kind of curious where it'll go once it settles down a little bit, because from who they showed on the first cover, we still haven't seen a lot of more Guardians that are going to join, like Dark Hawks on the cover. Uh, that Black Order's there, Thanos' headless body's there. Uh, it, it's worth a buy. I uh, would check it out. Um, I'm going to see where it goes. Uh, I usually give most of these new books about five issues to get going. And the final book for this week, uh, Monstrous Comes Back After a Hiatus, Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda, which let me just stop right there. Sana Takeda, her art just flows so well. It's beautiful. Um, the craftsmanship of the illustrations. I, I love this book. Um, definitely, if you have not read it, at least go get volume one, give it a read. Um, it's got like high fantasy, a uh, little bit of dark supernatural, I guess I'd put with it. Um, this issue in particular, it starts out with a little bit of the origin story of Kippa who is a cute little fox character. Um, we learn a little bit more about her, and then we go into Micah and Corvus are in battle. I, I don't really want to give away a lot of the story points. This is a buy for me. Um, overall, this week was a little bit of a downer because there was nothing, at least for me, none of my usual like standouts. Monstrous probably for me was the best, and a lot of new books. Um, especially Bendis. Bendis had a ton of books come out this week. I might as well just called it DC's Bendis week. Um, there also was not much that I'm specking this week. Um, very light for me. The covers didn't really blow me away. Um, I, there were final order cutoff notices put out. There is a Sean Gordon Murphy cover coming up for uh, Batman and a Art Germ Wonder Woman cover that I thought was pretty outstanding. Um, they're also like that Derek Chu one that I showed a couple weeks ago where it looks like they're going to be going the long way on the cover. Um, anyway, that's it for this week. Thank you very much. Comment, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the flip side.